In this video, I would like to concentrate on the complete bundle branch blocks of the right side as well as left side. In order to identify the bundle branch block from the ECG, we must understand the basic positive negative deflections of the V1 as well as V6 of the chest lead ECG patterns. Here uh, we can appreciate the P wave is uh, the indication of the right uh, atrial deflection for uh, the electromotive forces. These uh, green thick arrows indicates the electromotive forces. So here the P wave of uh, the V1 as well as uh, V6 is indication of the uh, you know right atrial depolarization whereas uh, left atrial depolarization shown here in the uh, V1 as a negative deflection. And uh, the R wave here, the positive deflection is indication of the left and right bundle branches activation. You essentially uh, start from the left side and towards uh, right side. So these, uh, these cumulative forces indicating the R wave here V1 and uh, Q wave in the V6. And the S wave, the negative deflection followed by R wave. Uh, in V1 is indication of the number 3 position is uh, left uh, ventricular depolarization or electromotive force. The electromotive force hitting the apex of the heart is uh, indication of the S wave in the V1 as well as uh, R wave in the V6. And similarly the S wave in the V6 is uh, indication of the the fourth position is the final uh, the electromotive forces hitting the base of the ventricle. This and now the right bundle branch block. So here the block is uh, uh, blocking the degeneration or any congenital cause or myocardial infarction and infection, septal defects and surgical procedure, coronary artery diseases and hypertension etc. Uh, usually causes for the right bundle branch blockage. So it's a complete blockage. So the, the bundle branch block of anything, whether it is right or left. So the simple uh, you know, understanding is the QRS complex of uh, the V1 and V6 uh, exceeding more than 0.12 second. That's an indication of bundle branch block. So in this case, right bundle branch block the the conduction towards the right side becomes delayed so that so we can see the slurred 2 r r normal r and extra r uh, can be seen in the ecg of v1 so here the r indicates the the po position 2 of electromotive forces and uh, Essentially, the R indicates the ventricular depolarization. Here, the first R indicates the, the left ventricle depolarization since the right bundle branch is blocked. So, the electromotive forces hits the left ventricle and left ventricle depolarizes initially and thereafter the electrical impulses comes back to the right ventricle and depolarize. So, that is how the the R indicates, first R indicates the left ventricle and the second R indicates the right ventricular depolarization. So, so the QRS complex becomes more than 120 milliseconds here. So, in case of V6, so the V6, the it, we can see the deep and prolonged S wave because the S wave here it indicates the normal case, the basal activation of the the ventricle. So the initially the the base uh, the left ventricle activates and then uh, it uh, turn to the right ventricle in case of uh, right bundle branch block. So since uh, it takes longer time, so the QRS complex in fact increases point more than point one two second and uh, S wave takes a longer time in order to complete negative deflection. The apparent clinical manifestations of uh, any bundle branch block whether it is left or right the syncope 
and episodic uh, syncopes and uh, fainting so it may be life threatening in over a period of time and coming to the left bundle branch block so in this case the block is uh, uh, is there in the left left conducting uh, fibers left side in the v1 the prolonged rs small r and uh, large s is seen v1 so because the s indicates uh, something like uh, the position 3 electromotive forces in the left ventricle side so it takes longer time because the initially the conduction goes into the right side because the block is in the left side so right side activation then it goes back to the left side so that's the reason why the the s wave in this position normal position takes longer time to complete its duration so more than 1.2 second obviously and uh, in case of v6 we can see the m shape r wave because the r wave is responsible for the or electromotive force in this three position is responsible for the s wave here and r wave here so that so these two waves becomes uh, manifested by the left bundle branch block so here it is it taking longer time to complete the r wave in case of the v6 so the common causes myocardial infarction cardiomyopathy hypertension infection coronary artery diseases etc in the left bundle branch block so where the conductivity in the left ventricle becomes delayed so this is all about the bundle branch block and their identification and clinical manifestations